Let me tell you something, son. Oh, I can't wait. Please, do go on. You know, cars and police chases, not all about crashing. Dad, I find that very difficult to believe. Son, why would you say that? Because my entire life that I've spent with you shows that to be quite to the contrary. Well, son, to show you I'm right, today I thought I'd bring you out to uh, one of the spots that the police cars love to go to eat. And, uh, you know, I've prepared a, a lovely vegan meal here for you because I know that you, you love vegan meals. I'm not, wait, what? I'm not a vegan. No, no, all, all kids your age are vegan. No, we're not. Where the hell did you get this from? Anyway, son, look down the road over there. There's a would-be scumbag being chased by the police. But don't worry, they won't be crashing into him. At all. Oh, Gray, please no. Anything but that. I have a family. Well, I had a family, but they were in the last Beam NG episode, so, yeah. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, I'm waiting for the traumatic part. Now, if you look over to your left, ah, there it is. You're gonna see the area where the police cars go to eat. It's called the Scumbag Chewer. Dad, what even is, what even is that? It doesn't make any sense. Oh my God. And that right there, son, is a true vegan meal. Dad, I hope you know every kid in the world hates you. Yeah, Lord, but a great place. We're back with more Beam NG Drive. Out here on the gigantic bridge, it's perfect to test out a little creation I've made called the Car Chewer, or Scumbag Chewer, if you listen to uh, Stig Stigler over there. It's, uh, it's a double whammy. What it is is a giant minefield filled with uh, speed bumps. And then we have gigantic, freakishly oversized spike strips upside down levitating at different sizes and intervals. And the idea is, is that it doesn't just damage cars, it peels cars apart. I've had this thing rip engines out, take doors off. It's really neat. And the varying height means that uh, different types of cars deal with different types of damage as they move through. It's, it's pretty slick. This map is fantastic for it because all the police cars, instead of trying to like fight for a middle lane, stay in their lane. So you get a gigantic procession of pain. Let me, let me show you what it looks like. Right over here, we have Horatio Phallus Lord. His crime against humanity was using up all of his family's data plan when they had Wi-Fi available. Let's see how he does. All right, so right over here, this is just a, a cinematic view for this. The Stigs can look on as well. Now, it depends. Right at this very first sad death destruction area, sometimes you lose some cars. And by cars and lose, I mean like one got completely obliterated. You can see all the police cars appear to be doing quite well. Never mind, all three of them just... <laughs> well, remember how I said it peels parts apart? There goes an exhaust. There goes an exhaust. It's like a gigantic... DDT, backbreaker, super slammy, I don't even know what. One guy is still stuck in there, I don't know how. But the other two, they had forward momentum, and yet they were thrown backwards somehow. It seems like every time cars crash into this thing that I've made, they crash differently. Wow, that's pretty bad. Um, the other thing I can say about this is that effectively every single dummy that's involved in this will die. I don't think anyone can survive this minefield. This thing does more damage than any, than any fixed objects I've ever put together. Welcome to the worst place on earth. It's a police dash cam in one of Gray's Beam NG videos. Now all these vehicles have the 6.2 liter Hemi engines in them. So they're all... <laughs> it's just detonated. 
I don't even know if we're gonna make it through. Oh, we did, we made it through. Okay, there we go. See, now we got a vehicle run. Now we got a vehicle in the running. Right over here, this guy. I don't know how he managed it. Top part of the vehicle is still on somehow. Never mind. And there goes the bumper. There goes all the doors. And the exhaust as well. Everything gets absolutely peeled apart. And these vehicles deal with the speed bumps really well. So they don't even have they don't even have that much damage that comes from the suspension or anything like that. Oh, the the uh, the motor got completely ripped out of the uh, the engine bay area. That's unique. Let's put some rockets on these things and see what happens. Now, unfortunately, the only one who's allowed to have rockets is the suspect car because the uh, the other vehicles that I have aren't allowed to place right now. You can see how fast the rockets are. It has completely blown past the police. Can it get through? Oh no! What sort of Gumby-like possession has taken place over here? This is- this has gone past the summoning or, uh, sinister. All those movies where, where the Dark Lords of the Abyss are coming for us. Look at how far the parts went. Let's, uh, well, the police are finally catching up over here. It's gonna be a... I never did it at full speed. It's pretty bad though. Actually, hold on. Let's do one. Look at the engine just barely sticking in there. Let's do the entire thing at full speed just, just to see. And then we'll uh, change up the cars a little bit. Oh, look. The exhaust system over there is dangling like Christmas tinsel. I'm going to have our view right like here because I don't think anyone's going to get any further than this. Look at the speed. Oh, I was totally wrong. Whoa! Oh my God. Well done, everyone! Yes! One police car goes through! Oh, he almost made it to the end! Look at the... the debris field! Unbelievable! I, I don't know where the suspect vehicle went. I think they went in the water. But this police car... You know, the guy inside is, has been massacred. He's been put in, inside of the, the magic bullet blender or whatever it is. You know, the, the, the fruit ninja or whatever have you. Yeah, it spins at uh, 42 billion RPMs. But our- oh, there's a piece of our suspect car. I found a door. Don't know where the rest of it is. Here's the rest of the police. They made a valiant effort. I love how I was like, oh, it's not gonna make it any further than this, and then it totally made it further. Let's, uh, let's sit here and see what happens. <laughs> All right, come on, police cars. Make me proud, baby, yes! Oh, he's gonna make it. He's gonna- I think he's flat enough to make it. Yes! <laughs> Are we gonna call this a win? I I'm gonna go ahead and say if they make it past my speed bumps, they win. So he won, but then he immediately was slain. So he kind of lost. You know, I think what we need is some go fast cars. So we've got all kinds over here. I've got three different police cars stacked up in the back. Right over here, we have Benny Ballbag. He's wanted for giving his homeroom teacher a concussion with a hacky sack. Let's go. Now these cars go pretty fast, but they're pretty low to the ground. So I'm kind of curious what happens. If, if anything, the speed bumps should really do a number on these cars. And the, uh, the chewer should have less of a, less of an impact. Now you can see right there, okay, never mind. I was gonna say barely any damage. Uh, that right there is an entire engine flying through the sky. It's like a frisbee. The engine is just soaring right now through the entirety of the map. I'm gonna let him go. Ben Benjamin's doing quite well. Now over here, the other two vehicles, we can see if they can get past. Yes, only a light bar falls prey to the sadness that is the car chewer. These other two police vehicles doing quite well. Our suspect appears to still be going forward, so that's plus one for him. It all matters. J exactly how they hit the speed bumps. Let's go ahead and speed up just a little bit more here so that we can continue to follow. Our, our suspect is definitely making it all the way to the end. At least it looks like it. And the police, all right, one police car just got savaged. But there's at least one more to go. And the suspect appears to make it all the way through. The final police car loses its, oh, he got, he got slashed right at the end there, but he still made it. The final police car appears to make it as well. And I think we're gonna have a twofer over here. That is gonna be two vehicles that made it all the way through. Let's see if that final chunk over there does anything. It does not. This is the first time that we have that we have had two vehicles made it make it all the way through and very little damage to this police vehicle. The other two police vehicles uh yeah. 
Not quite so lucky. We'll try a second time on full speed. We'll see if they get through so easily again. All right, let's follow right here. Should be perfect for us. It's gonna be full speed, so we'll see, uh, we'll see if anything horrifying, yep, something horrifying just happened. All right, the other two, oh, okay. One of the other vehicles got destructed as well. This one over here, though, doing well. Top part of the light bar coming off. The vehicle itself, though, continuing to move through, and we have a winner. We have two winners, actually. They got all the way past. Let's put some bigger engines inside of these cars. All right, I have upped the engines pretty substantially. Um, pretty substantially. So here we go. We're gonna see what it's like right from the front here. We're gonna see if there's any, oh. <laughs> Both of them got caught up into one another. There goes the light bar. Now I'm curious if the extra speed is going to make them more liable to getting shredded. Because again, these ones are pretty low to the ground. So unless they end up catching some air from the speed bumps, there's really only a very small chance that the rest of my teeth will take them out. The lowest teeth are kind of right in the beginning. After that, they get they get up there a little bit more. You can see right over here. I think it's going to make it all the way through. We'll kind of follow it over here. Move time along. Fantastic. Made it all the way through. So again, two, two of the police vehicles managed to get all the way through this time. I give it an 8.5. Why are we still here, Dad? Consider it an education, son. Dad, I'm an A-plus student. Well, then, I don't know. It's freaking extra credit, all right? Shut your gap. I'm kind of curious if it's just luck or what, like that everyone's making it through. So we're going to do a quick, uh, oh, there's one individual who wasn't lucky today. Oh my God. What happened to this car? How's everyone else doing? Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Is there only one that made it through this time? I wonder what happened differently. I couldn't tell because immediately everything exploded in a giant fiery death ball of sadness. We've got pieces. Actually, I think that we have a twin, we have twin engines, I do believe, soaring. Like birds, like eagles, soaring through the air. It's an endangered species over here in Beam NG. You can see, death, sadness. I don't know where the last guy went. All right, now I know what you're asking. You're asking, but Gray, could four buses with jet engines on them make it through the minefield? No, there's no way. There is no way these things are making it through this. But I can't wait to see what kind of damage they do. Right over here, we have Angus Widecrack. His felony is driving a plow that's not in service. Let's see how far he can make it through the field. Now, like I had said, this is gonna be pretty bad. Pretty bad. Looks like the hero bus is gonna make it there first. And by make it there, oh God, my stings! Stig Stigler! He just got obliterated, no! Ooh. Haven't seen anything get peeled like that before. Oh, there goes the game. All right, maybe we'll slow things down a little bit and just have the uh, the epilepsy. Uh, there goes my stigs again. Oh, mother of God. Oh, just have the epilepsy rockets go through over here. That's what happens right there. That's the sadness. All right, I'm just gonna do two of them right now just to see. All right, let's slow things way down because maybe we can get rid of some of the glitchiness if we slow things down. That is awful. Oh my God. Yeah, it cannot get past the first area. It, it gets turned inside out. I've never seen that kind of damage on one of these buses before. Look at what happens to it. The rockets get peeled from the bus, completely from the bus. They're flying of their own volition now. Now we do have a bus destroyer way in the back over there, and I don't know if he's going to arc in far enough to hit this area. It absolutely is. So here comes our bus destroyer. Now right over here, the plow isn't gonna help. Um, and yeah, it saws through it. It actually cuts through the entire bus like a hot knife. Look at it move all the way through. Hold on, we could probably get inside here. Yeah, look at that, it's bending all the seats and stuff. I didn't know that the uh, physics of the seats worked quite like that, but it definitely does. And that right there is what happens when you try and put buses through the minefield. We've got two more buses over here, so let's give them their due. We might as well. What is that piece that I just ran over? Was that part of the other bus? Oh, hold on, hold on. We're about to have a, uh, we're about to have a mid-sadness collision because what's left 
of this croissant like vehicle it's still there so uh, here comes the impact there goes the buzz saw through the middle of the bus and it's also impacting the other bus that is there right now let's see if it can push on through oh it is the zebra bus is, is pushing it on through it's forcing it through let's go back inside over here and see the damage that occurs oh flex tape I'd like to see you put this bus back together because it ain't gonna happen I guarantee it you know the zebra bus may make it through totally did the zebra bus made it through. Oh, that is one of our stigs! What happened to him? It's horrifying. All right, let's go a little bit faster and see if we can't glitch this thing out. All right, doing well. I spoke way too soon. Not doing well anymore. There goes part of the axle. And yeah, that is the farthest that any of our buses has made it. Right about here. There goes the engine. There goes the rockets, I should say, falling down to the ground. All right. This one's just for posterity. Oh my god, what happened back there? I don't think I don't think that the the <laughs> I don't think that what was supposed to happen happened. Let's just put it that way. All right, there's knife number 1. It gets through it? No way. Knife number 2 peels it apart. Peels it completely all of the tires left the bus. All of the tires. Very rarely do you get to see anything quite so horrific. Zebra bus. Is it going to keep any of its tires? The answer is yes. It is going to keep some of its tires. Now, the other bus is uh, going kind of weird over here. Going kind of wonky off on the side. So, I don't know if they're going to hit any of my uh, any of my spike strip chewers over here. Let's go ahead and move things along. Uh, that's a negatory. I really want to see if we can get all four buses through the chewer. So, here goes bus number one. All right, looking good. Fabulous. Everything I ever wanted. Perfect. Let's, uh, oh, you know what? Hold on, I wonder. So this is what it's like as a passenger inside of the bus destroyer. We'll kind of watch it as we move along here. And this is what you would see coming through the bus. Oh, we're not even, we're not even right side up anymore. I was going to say, the thing got curled in on itself like a worm. Pretty bad. There goes the plow. The plow is going to end up hitting these other buses over here. I don't know how much the plow weighs, like how much damage the plow itself will do. Quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit. And there is the last two buses coming through the chewer. And it is a horrifying scene of... Oh, they've all interconnected. Look at this. They're all entwined. Like lustful buses. Bye. And this is all that's left. This broken, beaten, sad slag of metal. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of BeamNG Drive, where we got to put a bunch of vehicles up against the vehicle chew. If there's ever anything else you want me to do, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, go ahead and, I don't know, chew on the like button or something. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.